Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for another one of those trophy list analysis videos. Today's game is LEGO 2K Drive. So, this is a LEGO racing game. It is releasing worldwide on both PS4 and PS5 and Xbox consoles as well on March 19th of 2023, which will be a few days after this video goes up. So, the game comes with a grand total of 39 trophies worth 1,350 points, 1 platinum, 4 golds, 12 silvers, and 22 bronzes. So, let's take a look at the list. So, I'm pulling the list from PSN Profiles as I normally do, and the first thing I'm noticing is that every single trophy has a 0 out of 100 next to it. I, I think that's a glitch in the system, because... Obviously, a lot of these are not going to require you to do something a hundred times. So I think that's just a glitch in the system. So we'll see if that gets fixed soon. I assume it will. Uh, but anyway, let me just also give my normal disclaimer in that with these videos, I'm going into them from the perspective of a trophy hunter more so than anything else, such as a mega fan of the franchise. But I do love the Lego games, but this is also a Lego racing game, and I'm not a huge racing game person, so maybe a little bit different from some of the other Lego games. Obviously, it's going to be different from other Lego games. Tastes like platinum. Earn all the trophies in the game. That is our platinum trophy. Now we're off to a bunch of bronzes. A charismatic mentor. Receive your first checkered flag in story mode. Presumably that means win one race. Cruising Big Butte County. Drive around in Big Butte County in story mode. So is the game going to be like open world? It, it, it's giving me Cars the Video Game vibes. For anyone who remembers Cars the Video Game, it was a game that came out around the same time as the original Cars movie and... It allowed you to drive around Radiator Springs and all the surrounding areas in a pretty pretty good size open world, actually, for the time. And you could just go in and do your side missions, mini games, and main story races along the way, like whenever you came across them. So I'm wondering if it's going to be sort of that way, so sort of a, a Legoized GTA without going around killing people. Cruising Prospecto Valley. Drive around in Prospecto Valley in story mode. Cruising Hauntsboro. Drive around in Hauntsboro in story mode. So presumably those are our different hub worlds. New Challengers. Play 10 races or mini games in Play With Everyone. That seems easy enough. Now speaking of that, when it comes to multiplayer aspects of the game... Uh, the game is supposed to have cooperative and competitive multiplayer. It's going to have two-player split screen and apparently some sort of online play, so I don't know how many people that's going to feature, though. 3K Drive. Drive 3,000 miles, or about 4,800 kilometers. That seems pretty much unmissable. Hop Uppington. Jump 100 times. Seems very easy. Just the start. Collect 50 new vehicles. Probably fairly easy. The pit crew collect 15 new drivers seems easy enough. And I guess the question is, you know, with these, are these just things that you're going to be able to find out in an open world? Or are they going to be from missions specifically? Or some of both. Probably some of both if I had to guess. Roadhog, destroy 200 traffic vehicles, easy enough. Brick Separator, destroy 1,000 objects, probably unmissable. It used to work, wreck 100 times. I'm sure that's going to happen with people like me who are terrible at driving games. Sidewalk Hog, punt 200 pedestrians into the air, that shouldn't be too hard. Big Butte Champion and Prospecto Champion, beat the Big Butte Grand Brick Arena race in story mode, and beat the Prospecto Valley Grand Brick Arena in race in story mode, so presumably those are like the final story missions in each of those areas, the final races there. What does this button do? Use every type of power-up at least once. Seems easy enough. Heat Seeker. Hit opponents with missiles 15 times. Easy enough. Free banana smoothies. Discover all the garages in the world in story mode. So that's why I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, an open world type of experience. So basically just explore the world and find those locations. Read the manual. Complete all chapters of the go-kart tutorial in the garage. So a tutorial mode, as long as it's not, you know, driver one levels of tutorial, it should be fine. Honk means hello. Talk to 150 folk. Seems easy enough. Hauntsboro Champion. I don't know why that one's so much further down on the list. Beat the Hauntsboro Grand Brick Arena race in story mode. Again, I'm assuming that's some kind of, like, final story race in that area or something. Couldn't have drifted better myself. Drift 5,000 meters, which is probably like, I don't know, 15,000 plus feet 
yeah, that'll be over 15,000 feet. So that seems like a uh, fairly excessive, but some of them will probably come naturally. Now we're on to our silver trophies. Missile Misser. Avoid 50 missiles by jumping over them in races. Seems a little bit grindy. All perked up. Collect 10 perks. That's probably not too hard. It just depends on what their requirements are to unlock them. I assume there's probably more than that, though. Jet Setter. Find all the jetpacks in Big Butte County in story mode. Rotor Coaster. Find all the rotor packs in Prospecto Valley in story mode. Bat Buds. Find all the bat packs in Hauntsboro in story mode. So we have three collectible trophies so far. So presumably just look at a guide. I'm sure that there will be plenty of guides out there for those. And there might even be some kind of collectible detector in the game like a traditional Lego game. And now we have Roadshow Ready, Township Treasurer, and Paranormal Procurer. These are for finding all the collectibles in Big Butte County, Prospecto Valley, and Hauntsboro. So three more collectible trophies. Seems simple enough. Again, I'm sure there will be a collectible guide out there for it. The Golden Ending. Earn a gold medal in every on-the-go event in the world. So whenever I see something like that, it makes me think, you know, like completing all the in-level challenges and stuff we've seen in previous LEGO games. Sometimes there have been times where we had bronze, silver, gold type of medals in LEGO games, I think, occasionally. So hopefully it's nothing too difficult, but I would just say, you know, maybe keep that one in mind. 6K drive. Drive 6,000 miles or 9,656 kilometers. That seems easy enough, just kind of grindy. You break stuff. I don't know why that's in all caps. Destroy 15,000 objects. Again, seems easy, just grindy. Experienced. Get to level 30 in story mode. Seems like it might just be a bit grindy, but doesn't seem too difficult. And now we're on to our gold trophies. Sky Cup Champion. Beat the Sky Cup Grand Prix race in story mode. Presumably that's like the final level of the game if I had to take a guess. Higher orbit. Spin 1080 degrees in the air without using a jetpack. Is that, that's three 360s in a row without using a jetpack. So presumably for that one, you're going to need to find a really, really high up area of one of the worlds and jump off of it and spin. There's a, that's probably a gold trophy for a reason. So I assume that trophy is going to be harder or maybe there's only a few places where you can do it. Crystal clear, mow down all weed patches in the world in story mode. That sounds very tedious. I mean, I'm sure that there's a collectible guide for it, but that sounds very, very tedious. There could be a lot of those. And Folk Hero, complete all quests in the world in story mode. So overall, this trophy list looks pretty easy as typical for a LEGO game. It doesn't, there might be one multiplayer trophy, that new challengers trophy for playing 10 races or mini games in play with everyone. I'm going to assume that that's a multiplayer trophy because of the way it's worded, but that looks to be the only one that's multiplayer, so it looks like a fairly easy, as usual, LEGO game. It looks like, you know, a lot of different combat-specific and race-specific trophies, a lot of exploration and collectibles to find, which is very typical of a LEGO game. It, it doesn't look like it's going to be a particularly hard game to get the Platinum Trophy in, it just depends on, you know, how hard... It, did they do a good job with making a racing game when they're typically... well? Technically, it's not Traveler's Tales that made this. It's technically 2K, a 2K game. So I, I don't know how the racing is going to translate from the developers of the Borderlands franchise. But you never know. It might, it might not be too bad at all. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a hard platinum. It just sounds kind of grindy at a few places. A handful of trickier trophies, maybe one online trophy... So my best guess is the game is probably going to be close to a 3 out of 10, at least in my case, because again, I'm not much of a racing game type of person. But maybe if you're more of a racing game type of person, then it's probably going to be a little bit easier. Not saying I'm bad at racing games, I'm pretty good at like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but haven't played it in a while. So I would say a 2 to 3 out of 10, depending on your skill level, if I had to take a guess. And for time, I would suspect it's going to be an over 20-hour Platinum just because there are a lot of collectibles to find and a lot of leveling up and grindy trophies. So I'm going to assume it's over 20 hours, but I can't give a fully accurate guess on the time just because it depends on how long the game itself ends up taking. So I, I don't know. I would say 20 to 30 hours, but be a little bit cautious on that. It might take longer or might even be shorter than that. 
So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Please like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell if you haven't already. Lego 2K Drive comes out on, I believe this is going to be Friday, May the 19th of 2023. Yep, that looks like the correct date. Uh, I will not be playing this game day one by any means. I'm not super interested in it. I'm sure it's kind of overpriced right now, but I'm sure I will pick it up someday to grab the trophies in it if I ever wanted to do most of the Lego games that have ever come out. So yep, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys back here for the next one.